Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. The recent video released by the Russian Ministry of Defense showcasing a Panzer S-1 air defense system with a unique camouflage pattern has drawn attention to the complexities surrounding international arms agreements, particularly concerning the export of military hardware. This specific model, adorned with an unusual camouflage pattern, is believed to be a re-export version intended for the Iraqi armed forces. Interestingly, similar exported models were previously observed in the conflict zone in Ukraine, adding another layer of complexity to the situation. The arms contract between Iraq and Rosoboran Export, a Russian agency, signed in 2012 included the delivery of 24 Panzer S-1 systems among other military equipment. While most of the units were delivered to Iraq as per the contract, it remains unclear how one unit ended up in service with the Russian armed forces. Speculation suggests that this unit might have remained the manufacturer's property after an early cancellation of the contract and was later transferred to the Russian Ministry of Defense. The Panzer S-1, developed by the KBP Instrument Design Bureau in Tula, Russia, and manufactured by the Ulyanovsk Mechanical Plant, is a sophisticated system designed to protect military areas and strategic industrial targets against precision air attacks at low and very low altitudes. It combines surface-to-air missiles and automatic cannons for enhanced defense capabilities. Key features of the Panzer S-1 system include its mobile configuration, capable of deploying up to six combat vehicles per battery, armed with surface-to-air guided missiles and automatic cannons. Its armament includes 12 guided missiles and two automatic 30mm cannons, enabling it to engage tactical aircraft, cruise missiles, and high-speed air-to-ground missiles effectively. The Panzer S-1's mobility is another critical aspect, allowing it to be mounted on various truck chassis and deployed across diverse terrains at speeds of up to 100 km per hour. Its ability to engage multiple targets simultaneously, along with its adaptive radar-slash-optical weapon control system, makes it highly effective against a wide range of aerial threats. However, some American military analysts have pointed out potential vulnerabilities in the Panzer S-1 system, particularly its reliance on radar for target identification, which could be exploited through advanced electronic warfare tactics. Despite these concerns, the Panzer S-1 system has been widely adopted by several countries, including Algeria, the United Arab Emirates, Syria, Iran, Oman, and Vietnam, owing to its ability to fortify airspace against various threats. The incorporation of Western electronic components in the export version of the Panzer S-1E system further underscores its appeal to international customers, despite occasional controversies and challenges in arms export agreements. That's all for now. See you later.